day I have a new recipe for you and I think I want to change uh, the name of um, my cooking day days to cook with me Thursdays um, southern family table I really kind of like it but it just doesn't quite fit what I'm looking for I don't think so what? <sighs> say hi say hi yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to go with Cook With Me Thursdays because I'm going to do a mixture of crock pot recipes, uh, desserts, um, baking dishes, you know, skillets. So I'm just going to kind of do a mix for you. So let's, I think that's what we're going to go with. I really kind of like the, the name of that better. So anyway, let's get down to business. What we're cooking today is a chicken mushroom stroganoff in the slow cooker. Um, I have a variation that I do. I will link the original recipe down below for you. Um, but I think you're really going to like this. It's super easy. You can do this with a little one. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it, it, it comes together fairly quickly um, without a whole lot of work into it. Um, and then in the end, you serve it over um, You serve it over noodles. You can serve it over broccoli. Um, you can serve it over rice. Um, uh, if, since this is Trim Healthy Mama, um, which um, a lot of people do, you could serve it over the shirataki or um, zucchini noodles, um, something to keep it a little healthier, that would be up to you. Or you could do, I think, a, like a Dreams Filled pasta, a, a pasta that's approved, plant approved. So, anyway, let's get started on this recipe. I'm anxious to show it to you. Okay, for this recipe, you're going to need two large chicken breasts, eight ounces of sliced portobello mushrooms, a half a, a container of sour cream, so eight ounces, uh, two cans of cream of chicken soup, if you can see that, um, some cooking spray for your crock pot, salt and pepper, uh, some parsley flakes, and then I've got some minced garlic here, and I've got some onion powder. Okay, so let's get started on making this recipe. Okay, you're going to begin by mixing up your cream of chicken. Your sour cream, and I'm just going to kind of guess at this. Mix about half. Your salt and pepper, and the salt and pepper are to taste. Use uh, fresh ground or pre ground, whichever you happen to have on hand. Two teaspoons of parsley flakes. You can use fresh parsley, I just don't have any. It also does not call for the minced garlic, but I am going to add some of that as well. And you're probably looking at maybe a, a, a tablespoon or two of the pre-minced uh, garlic. You can mince your own too that, as well. I'm just trying to save time. Okay. Now, we're going to mix all this together. Now you're going to add in your mushrooms. With your cooking spray, I've got an olive oil cooking spray. Then you're going to layer your chicken, and then you're going to layer your cream soup mixture. Now you're going to put your little one, and if it locks, we're going to lock it in place. The original recipe calls for eight hours on low. I'm actually going to start mine out um, on high for a couple hours, and then I'm going to drop it down from there just because I'm, I don't have eight hours.
hours at this point to get it done. But a couple hours on high and then moving it to low, I think will be perfect. Okay, our chicken mushroom stroganoff is done. Your next step is to come in and pull your chicken out and you want to shred it. And once you shred it, then you're going to put it back in and give it a good stir. Like done. Served over the broccoli. Think about it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Add a little salt and pepper to it. What do you think? Is it good? Is it good? Mmm. <laughs> okay. Here's the verdict. We like it. Um, I definitely think it can use some more seasoning. Um, Brian suggested maybe throwing in a little bit of uh, bacon. So I might try that next time. But it, it's definitely good. I don't think it just needs a little more something to it so we're gonna give it a thumbs up at least for now and i'll play with it some more as, as time goes on um but uh there you go another another new recipe chicken mushroom stroganoff um the link for the original recipe is going to be down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it um definitely let me know what you think about the recipe and any changes that i made and um and let me know if you like these kind of videos um, so I know to keep doing them. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new one. I should have a new recipe out pretty much every Thursday. So until next time, bye.